Thanks for joining me for my third review. And now, Fender Bender. The film is about a killer who gets people's personal information by smashing into their cars and then getting their insurance information to stalk them. The film is kind of reminiscent of Scream, but even more so when a stranger calls, the original, not the remake. Overall, the characters and plot are very well written. The tension constantly ratchets up as the film goes. Before I even knew it, an hour had passed. A slight complaint of mine, there's some texting in the film, and the font size is pretty small. You kinda gotta squint to read it, but it's a small complaint. The film is very well shot. The camera is constantly moving, but never in a shaky fashion. It's all very well put together shots, and it looks very professionally done. The score is also quite reminiscent of John Carpenter's work, and that should make genre fans very happy. The killer's overall look is kind of generic. He looks like the guy from The Collector mixed with the Gimp from Pulp Fiction. He also uses a really silly weapon, but that's a minor complaint. Overall, the film is not a gore fest, but it is a throwback to the classic slasher films of the 80s. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a plot element involving a cake, and that's one of the weakest elements of the film. I don't believe that anyone would actually indulge in the cake, but... Overall, Fender Bender is not only a good movie, it's one of the greatest movies I've seen in recent years. You should absolutely give it a shot.